Kansas City, Missouri set a grim new record when it comes to murders. As of right now, the total is 174 homicides. Tomorrow, the mayor, city council, and police department will have a special ceremony to remember victims. They will also reveal a new action plan to curb the violence. KCTV5 stands for you. Tonight, investigative reporter Angie Ricono takes a closer look at how this year is ending and what happened nationwide. 2020 will be remembered for a lot of things. Coronavirus, economic problems, and violence. That's true in Kansas City and nationwide. Final numbers will soon be turned over to the FBI, but early information already paints a clear picture. There's no, no sugarcoating it. There's no other way to say it. Overall, this was a very, very violent year. This is absolutely uh, the highest number of homicides that we've had. Kansas City's murder rate soared this year, and that's pretty much what happened across the country. Early unofficial numbers show murders are up 29% nationwide. Kansas City's 28% increase reflects what many large cities are struggling with. Here's how we compare to departments similar in size, demographics, and area they cover. St. Louis, Atlanta, and Denver have similar increases, a 30% jump or more in murders. But four similar departments fared much worse. Seattle, Memphis, and Fort Worth had increases of more than 50%, and Milwaukee saw a 110% increase. At the other end, Charlotte saw a lower increase. And for whatever reason, Albuquerque and Oklahoma City actually saw a decrease in murders, bucking the nationwide trend. Overall, we've seen a particularly bloody year in 2020 for homicides. Can we answer why yet? We'll be unpacking this for uh, for years, if not decades. Ken Novak is a criminologist who watches trends and crunches data. Answers aren't easy, but some obvious things jump out. Economic unrest from coronavirus and civil unrest across the nation. Those are two huge factors that influence um, that influence violent crime in general and homicides in particular. Police also question if emptying some jails played a role. Kansas City's police department acknowledges a rough year, but points out in a pandemic with a soaring murder rate, they improved clearance rates. The unrest that we had over the summer, um, it taught us a lot. But despite all of that, we still believe that we have a good relationship with our community. We believe that our clearance rate is a reflection of that. Kansas City's clearance rate this year was 72 percent, a huge improvement from last year's, which was 55 percent. The nationwide average is 61 percent. Many police departments say they struggled with their clearance rates this year, and you can certainly understand why. They had a lot of staff members quarantining. It was difficult to get good face-to-face -face interviews because of coronavirus. And then a lot of people are walking around wearing a mask. That makes identification difficult, and those people wearing masks certainly don't stand out. Reporting in Kansas City, Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.